I am back with some more smooth and standard technique exercises that you can do from your house. So last time we did an exercise that involved smoothing out your lowering and the extending of your foot. So we were standing straight, trying to keep a straight line through the top of our head, our upper back, and our lower back as we lowered and extended our foot in a coordinated fashion. And then we were just coming back up. So if you've been practicing that, in the different directions, we did forward, side, and back. It's time to add some movement to the equation. So this exercise is gonna focus on what would be the driving step in your smooth and standard. So normally that's your one in things like waltz and foxtrot. So we're gonna start the same way. We're gonna find our nice standard posture. So feet parallel, standing nice and tall, core engaged. We're gonna lower, and extend in that coordinated fashion. But now instead of just coming back up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that extended foot and I'm gonna translate it into forward motion. Let me talk a little bit about how I'm doing that. So the first thing that I'm doing with that lowering and extending is I'm building some tension in my standing leg. Think of the leg that you are standing on as your spring. And you want to coil that up and build your tension so that it's ready to explode forward. To do that, I'm going to lower and extend my foot. And I'm not going to leave right away. I'm not just going to go. I actually want to work and think about coiling the energy into this leg. So I'm lowering and extending. And I'm going to stay here for a second. This leg is going to feel um, like all of the muscles in it are really engaged. Or if you haven't done this before, you may almost feel it start to shake. That's okay. It means you're using the right muscles. Now that it's feeling very engaged or maybe a little shaky and telling me like it's time to go, I'm tired, this is difficult. I want to direct my motion forward. So I'm going to think about pushing with this leg but pushing on an angle that is like this. That's the basic exercise. Some things to avoid when you're doing this. We want to keep that nice posture from before when we were doing just the simple lowering and standing back up. So we don't want to tip forward or tip back. So we don't want this to happen. So to do that, you can't let go of keeping your core muscles turned on and engaged and holding yourself straight. The second thing that we don't want is to go in a direction of travel that's not efficient. So all of that energy we built up by lowering on that standing leg, we want to send it forward. We don't want to pop up and we don't want to dip down. Show you some examples of what it should not look like right now. So we lower and we extend. We do not want to see up landing on a straight leg. I'll show you that one again. We don't want to see lower pop up. We want to see straight forward. The other thing that we don't want to see is lower and extend and big dip. I wasted my energy taking my direction of travel in a direction that I'm not trying to go. I want to send every bit of that pent up energy from that coiled up spring to forward motion in this case. So one more time, this is the example of how it should look. Lower and extend as you maintain that straight posture. Keeping that straight posture with an engaged core forward. When you do it forward, do it on both legs. You can also do this going backwards. I'm going to do the going backwards face onto the camera so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to lower and extend, keeping my knee tracking over my toes. Remember, I don't want this or this. I want to stay nice and square to keep my knee nice and safe. Then, as this starts to go, okay, it's time to go, I'm going to push my direction straight backwards. And I land with my feet together and my knees slightly bent. Yeah? 
when you do this exercise. I highly recommend doing it in front of a mirror. Uh, I can actually use my windows at night. I can see the reflection. Or doing it in front of something like a webcam or a cell phone, just so you can see the motion that you're traveling. You don't have to show anyone else the videos. What we're looking for is that this beautiful posture that we worked on with the lower and come back up exercise stays even though we're adding movement now. You will, when you start to do this, have to play around with your direction, your angle. That's what the visual cue is for. Try and find the direction of push with your standing leg that lets you travel straight forward instead of up or down. Remember, we're looking for efficient movement and to take all of that energy that we've built up and direct it where we want to go. What this is going to do for your dancing if you keep practicing it is it's going to translate into what looks like big, beautiful, effortless movement across the dance floor when we get back on the dance floor and we're dancing smooth and standard. Give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know.